folks. So um, this video here is going to have an audio file from 2018. This was published uh, by The Lancet in December of 2018, the planetary electromagnetic pollution. It is time to assess its impact. And um, along the same lines as this theme here, I just want to point out that I, they've developed these active denial systems and these sound wave, electromagnetic wave type of weapons and stuff that they've been deploying and they did this test here. They had like a range here and it was within that range there that people started feeling it. And they describe it as this burning, searing type of a pain where it feels like you're just being burned instantly type of stuff. Okay. And ultimately being irradiated too. So microwave. And I just, I think they developed these weapons for a specific purpose and a specific reason. And they have never really had full justification for using it. And they're just looking for a reason. So they're going around just baiting and triggering people left and right. And there's records that show that they used it, um, to direct a crowd flow during that whole women's march, you know, all the women with the pink pussy hats. You know, I don't agree with these people's point of view and their agenda. I really don't. But I don't think that they need to be attacked with a directed energy weapon, which is ultimately what this is. This is a directed energy weapon, okay? And here's the patent for it. Acoustic hailing device is what they call it by the LRAD Corporation in San Diego, California. And this is a weapon. This is a directed energy weapon. And it should not be used on any U.S. citizens for any purpose whatsoever. OK. And this is a this is the document right here from the Metropolitan Police Department, Homeland Security Bureau, Special Operations Division, where they say right here. They say right here, federal cell stations became overcrowded and these issues were mitigated by the deployment of DCNG jump teams and the use of the long range acoustical devices to assist with instructing the crowd flows on continuing to flow away from the entrances of the stations it was first used back in 2019 during the G20 summit and then again against activists in 2011. Okay. And then recently in 2019 as well, they've used this active denial type of a system, this supposed non-lethal. Okay. It should not be used. It should not be allowed. I'm sorry. They've gone way too far with some of this stuff and this technology that they're using and deploying. And it should never, ever, ever be used against any American citizen, especially someone that's protesting. Okay. It's bad enough that they use the rubber bullets and the tear gas and stuff like that, but they're deploying these types of things and they're just itching for a reason to use it, folks. So... I'm just saying, be mindful if you're allowing a lot of this stuff going on with politics and all that to bait and trigger you and you're putting yourself out into public where you're vulnerable, just be aware that they have these types of tools and these types of weapons at their disposal and they are not afraid to use them. And in fact, I think they get off on it. And I think the people that researched, developed, manufactured and created and deployed these types of directed energy weapons have no problem using it on American citizens. In fact, I think they get off on it. So it really should not be allowed. That's the point I'm really making. But this is an interesting publication that was put out by The Lancet back in 2018. So the audio file for the following video of some local sky views and the sunspots on the sun again, I put through some filters as well. And some interesting sky views that show energy. You can really, really see there's a lot of electromagnetic pollution in our skies out here in southern Nevada. And I just think it's interesting information that I think a lot of people should be aware of as we move forward with new devices that we're, they're just increasing our frequency pollution all the way around us. And all in the name of what? so that we can communicate with each other better. Um, why would we even bother with all of the freaking censorship that's going on, right? They're doing all of this stuff with all these increased Wi-Fi speeds and internet connections to improve our communication capabilities, but you wanna censor us and prevent us from talking about and having conversations about certain things that include certain words, right? So I'm just saying, I, I think they're itching for a reason to use these weapons on, on people. And that, look, I mean, she's smiling about it. I mean, these people are not like, I, I don't know. That's to me is just not normal. You're standing there and you're smiling about it. Yeah, it's real fun, isn't it? Real fun until somebody that you know or yourself is harmed, right? Because you can say non-lethal all you want, but these people have no idea and can't predict what everyone's response is going to be from being subjected to these types of systems, these directed energy weapons. Not everybody's going to respond the same way. And I guarantee you there are going to be people who are going to suffer a, a fatal dose, if you will. If they're allowed to keep deploying it, it shouldn't be allowed. Just saying that, you know, they put together these programs and they manufacture these devices for a reason, not to just sit it on a freaking shelf and not just to cause fear and panic, but for, for crowd control, for population control. And it shouldn't be allowed here to be used and deployed in the U S seriously. Just saying. So audio file, planetary electromagnetic pollution. It is time to assess its impact from a publication from 2018. Stay safe and mindful, folks. Know that I appreciate you and that you matter very much to me.